Hello, students. I'm very sorry. My computer was not responding, but I'm here. Hello. Hello. Okay, now I'm here. How are you? How was your day? How was your day today? I was worried. Okay. And I was like, ah, fighting with the computer and the computer was not responding. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello. Today we are going to continue working on our classes. Remember that uh, we are very close to the end of the module and we need to do our best, right? I send you an activity. Thank you for the ones who send me the answer. Gracias a todos los que me mandaron las respuestas rapidísimo. That was very good. The practice was very easy. So that was like something. Right? It was a very easy practice. So uh, I hope you like it. Right. Very good. So yesterday we were talking about places in town. Can you give me examples of places in town? Examples of places in town? Uh -huh. Give me examples of places in town. Bookstore. The bookstore, good. Another example. Pharmacy. The pharmacy, the bookstore, what else? Bakery. The bakery, right? The bakery. bakery. Restaurant. The restaurant, very good. What else? Bus station. The bus station, right? The bus station, very good. The airport. The? The, the airport. Port. The airport, the right? The airport, right? The airport, very good. Any other one? Aha, uh -huh. the airport, jail, the jail, right? The jail. Do we have the bakery? We have the airport. We have the hotel, the library. What else? Uh -huh. What other places do you remember? ¿Qué otros lugares recuerdan? The gas station. The gas station, very good. Any other one? Barber shop. The barber shop, right? The barber shop, very good. So, let me see. The zoo, right? The zoo. The zoo is another place that we were talking about yesterday. So, let me just close this. Yeah, my computer is still slow, my God. I don't know what's going on with her. So, we were talking about different places in town. Today, we are going to talk about there is and there are, that it's another form that we also use for places in town. For example, when you say there is, and you use it with singulars, and when you use there are, you use it with plurals. Yesterday, we were kind of talking a little bit about this, and we were saying, right, we were saying that, uh, <clears throat> okay, Alma Dalila va en el bútice todavía. Okay, so you use there is for singulars, there are for plurals. So in this case, we have, a, when we talk about different places. For example, when we talk about more than one place, we say there are, right? For example, if you have many pupusas places near your house, so you say there are many pupusas places. There are many hotels. There are many shops. There are many, and you start talking about the different places, right? 
how many grocery stores are near your house? How many grocery stores are near your house? One, two, three, how many? Two. Two. So in this case, you say there are two grocery stores near my house, right? There are two. How many hotels are near your house? How many hotels are there near your house? No, there are no hotels. No hay ninguno. If you, if you don't have, you say, no, teacher, there are no hotels near my house. So I am going to give you the examples that we are going to use today. And for this, let me just close here. I am going to go with the examples. We have, there is, there isn't, I, sorry. I am going to go here. There is, there isn't. And we have also, there are, and there aren't. Okay, so there you have the two forms. This is for singulars and this is for plurals. Singulars, only one. Plurals, more than one, okay? So we have, there is a hotel. There is a hotel uh, near my house. There is a hotel near my house. And you have one sentence, right? But if you have, and you say, no, teacher, no hay ninguno. Solo creo que uno nada más, okay? There isn't a hotel. No hay ninguno, teacher near my house. And if you say, nada, teacher, pero para nada, para nada, que ni se miran ni las luces, so you say, there, okay, there aren't any hotels near my house. And in this case, we have the three forms, right? There is a hotel near my house. It's like, si hay uno, right? There is a hotel. There isn't a hotel near my house. No hay un hotel cerca de mi casa. Y la tercera opción, there aren't any hotels near my house. It's like, teacher, no hay, pero ninguno. Ni a la vista, ni alrededor, right? There aren't any hotels near my house. So here is another option. You say, there are many churches. There are many churches in my city. Y iglesias tenemos hasta para regalar, teacher. There are many churches. Or you can say, there are a lot of. ¿Qué significa a lot of? Un montón. There are a lot of pupusas places. There are a lot of pupusas places near my house, right? There are a lot of pupusas places in my city, you can say. In my city. And there you have. It's like, ooh, teacher, si tenemos hasta para tirar para arriba. There are many. Ahí hay para escoger, teacher. So in that case, when you say there are a lot of pupusas places in my city, pero hay un montón, teacher. Si me quiere decir el número específico, decimos here, si es solo uno, you can say there is a hotel. Okay? Ahí ya me dice que es uno. Cuando ocupamos a, it's there is a hotel. No problem. You cannot say there is a one hotel, porque ahí estaríamos redundando. ¿Qué significaría si decimos there is a one hotel?
Ajá. Si there is a hotel significa que hay un hotel. Y si me digo, there is a one hotel. What is the meaning? Hay un uno hotel. Exactly like that, right? Hay un uno. Hay un uno hotel. <laughs> y no andamos por la vida diciendo, hay, hay un uno hotel. No, right? You say there is one hotel. And that's the form of usage, right? There is a hotel only like that, right? No le tenés que poner nada más. Pero si son bastantes, sí puedes usar un número. And you say, here. Y vos sabes que son específicamente esos. And you say, there are four grocery stores in my neighborhood. What is the meaning of neighborhood? Vecindario, right? There are four grocery stores in my neighborhood. Porque usted sabe que son la niña Mari, niña Juanita, niña Tere y niña Toyita. Four. Yeah, nombres de señores de tienda. Señores de tienda, si me están viendo en este video, no es por nada, ¿verdad? las queremos. Gracias por tener tienda. So, if you want to say the number, right? If you want to say the number, you can say there are four grocery stores in my neighborhood. Okay? There are a lot of pupusas places in my city. Cuando decimos there are many, no sabemos cuántas, pero hay montones. There are a lot of, no sabemos cuántas, pero son un, un puño, como diríamos en buen salvadoreño. Son puño de iglesia. Only five, right? Yo cuando me dicen puño, me, yo digo, ah, puño, cinco. <laughs> Son cinco iglesias nomás. Dice. There are four grocery stores in my neighborhood. Ahí sí, usted las tiene contadas, marcadas, fichadas. And in this case, you say, there aren't any, there aren't any supermarkets near my home. There aren't any teacher. No hay ninguno. No hay pero ningún supermercado cerca de la casa, teacher. Nos morimos de hambre. There aren't any supermarkets near my home. Or, in another form, mire que les estoy dando tantas opciones para que me puedan expresar esto. There are no supermarkets here. Just like that. There are no supermarkets here, teacher. Teacher, pero no hay absolutamente nada. And we have all these options. Right? Teachers, there are no supermarkets here. There aren't any. And you can also use it. <clears throat> so that is the form that you can use to express the different things that are in the different places. If you think about the place that you live, okay? Piensen en su casa, piensen en su vecindario, piensen en su colonia. Okay? I need you to think about your neighborhood. No piensen en otro lado. Ay, que no, San Salvador, teacher, no. I need you to think about your neighborhood. And I need you to write sentences about your neighborhood. Okay? Write sentences about your neighborhood. With the examples. Básense en los ejemplos. Pero necesito que piensen en su colonia, en su vecindario. Y que me den ejemplos reales. De su vecindario. Si me dice, ah, teacher, que no hay nada. Entonces, there aren't any supermarkets, there aren't any hospitals, there aren't any hotels. Hágalas todas negativas, si no hay nada. Pero si sí hay diferentes cosas, como Mexican restaurant, pupusas place, a mall. So give me examples of this. Think about your neighborhood. And I need you to write three examples. Write three sentences basing on your neighborhood and the things that you have there. Okay? Piensa en su colonia. Salga ya a la puerta si quiere, a ver, para recordarse. And write three sentences. Affirmative, negative, interrogative. Any. No, interrogative no porque no se las he enseñado. Affirmative or negative. 
¿Cómo hacemos una interrogativa? ¿Cómo les preguntaría yo? Si nos pasamos a la lógica que les he enseñado, que primero va el verb, después va el complement, después va el, el, el the rest of the sentence, ¿qué tendríamos que poner primero en una oración para hacer una pregunta? Si decimos, there is, there are, ¿qué tendríamos que poner primero? Are. Are, right, tendríamos que poner primero. Are there. Are there. And this is one for the questions. Are there any? Are there any stores near your house? And the question mark, right? What is the meaning of this? ¿Qué significa esto cuando yo les pongo Are there any stores near your house? Are there any stores near your house? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of this sentence? ¿Qué significaría esta oración? Uh, Ajá. Near, ¿qué significa? Cerca. Cerca. Ah, Ajá. Okay. Si yo le digo, there is a hotel near my house, o sea, salgo de mi casa y hacia media cuadra hasta el hotel. Ah, okay. Near. And if I say, are there any stores near your house? What will be the meaning of that? Hay tiendas cerca de tu casa. Ajá, pero ahí somos más específicos. ¿Habrá alguna o hay alguna? ¿Hay alguna tienda cerca de tu casa? Good job, Edwin. Very good definition. Or, if you don't want to use any. Si no quieres usar any, we say, is there a restaurant in your neighborhood or in your city? Is there a restaurant in your city? Sorry that I wrote double I here. Is there a restaurant in your city? Or if you want to make it plural, are there churches in your neighborhood? Are there churches in your neighborhood? What is the meaning of these last two? ¿Qué significan esas últimas dos? Hay un restaurante en tu ciudad y hay iglesias en tu vecindario. Exactly like that, Edwin. Very good job. Me gusta ese Edwin que vino en la noche. Ayer andaba calladito, ¿verdad? no quería platicar, no quería participar. Hoy viene chispo. Very good, very good. Okay. So. Hoy José viene apagado. ¿Qué me le hicieron, José? ¿Quién me le ha hecho tanto daño? Hoy vengo de humilde. <ríe> Ay, eso veo. Hoy José viene calladito, viene de low profile. ¿Sabe? En inglés cuando alguien le dice, no, no, I am in a low profile today. I am in a low profile. I am in a low profile. Ando de perfil bajo. Así como pasando a esta percibir. Or when you are when you are sad, you say, I feel I feel blue. I feel blue, teacher. It's like, ¿te sentís azul como un pingo, un pitufo? No, 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 me siento deprimido. I feel blue. Eso significa. It's like, oh, teacher, ando como una migripe, así como... Oh. I feel blue. That's the meaning. Eso es un, un idiom de inglés. So, these are the meanings. So, write three sentences. Afirmativo or negative. Porque me van a contar que hay en su color. Go ahead. Three sentences. Y todos me van a dar los ejemplos. Así que todos van a participar. Hasta el más calladito. Catherine que está calladita hoy. Antonio que ha venido silencioso. Lego de Mille también.
Ay, sí, eso yo, que les hicieron ahora en el trabajo. No es ni 15 para que las hayan pagado ahora. Ah. No voy a hablar, teacher. Échale aguacate a la clase. <risa> Ah, Creo que por eso es, porque no nos han pagado. Ah, por eso, ay, 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 no. Concuerdo con José. Ah, so, I feel blue because of that. Yeah. Teacher, estamos como el náufrago después de las vacaciones. Ay, ya. Yeah. <laughs> tell me, tell me. <laughs> Les voy a contar a una amiga, les pasó la situación de que ella, Felipe, inicia un trabajo nuevo y a Felipe, aquel 15 le iban a pagar. Y le dice, mira, el 30 vamos a pagar las dos quincenas juntas. Y la pobre, así como, ¿what? Así que, así estamos todos. I feel blue. Tomo su ejemplo para la clase. Y mi amiga me dice, no tengo nada. Y me van a pagar hasta el 30. Teacher, una pregunta. Yeah. Este, eh, los tres ejemplos los vamos a hacer refiriéndose a lo mismo o a algo diferente. No, no, cosas diferentes de su colonia, de su lugar donde vive. Me puede decir como que okay, there is a restaurant, there is a hotel, there is a, a church, or there aren't any churches, there aren't any hotels. O sea, si no tiene nada acerca de su casa, todas van a ser negativas. Pero si hay diferentes cosas, puedes hablar de, de diferentes cosas de tu colonia. José, give me your examples. Uh, bueno. Okay. Mr. José, give me your examples. Uh, examples. Uh, there are three car wash. Uh, There are, no, there is a bakery. Okay, there are three car wash, there is a bakery. There are three pupus play, pupusas play. There are three pupusas places, because it's three, right? Very good job, yes. excellent. There are three pupusas places, very good job. Thank you, Jose, for your examples. Who else has them ready? ¿Quién ya los terminó? Si ya los terminaron, al micrófono de uno solo. Ajá, ajá. Teacher, how do you say eh, me dijo eh, llantería? Ah, tire repair. Shop. Tire. Fire. Aquí lo vamos a poner. No, fire no, porque ese fue. Tire. Tire. Re uh -huh. Repair. Right. Tire. Here I go. Repair. Shop. Okay. Tire. Tatiana, vamos. Tire repair shop. There are two pupusas places in my neighborhood. There are three grocery stores near my home. There aren't my, eh, perdón, there aren't any supermarkets near my house. Hmm, there aren't any supermarkets near my house. Okay, I'm very sorry for that. <laughs> Thank you, Tatiana. Very good job. Good sentences. Who's next? Vamos a verle las caritas, vamos a ver quién ya tiene carita de que terminó. Joana, go ahead. <laughs> eh, there are many grocery stores in my neighborhood. Good. There isn't a drugstore drug near store. my neighborhood. Okay. Drugstore. Very good. Eh, there are many temples in my city. Very good. There are many temples in my city. Excellent job. Antonio José, vamos. Ah, okay. Uh, there are is pupusas place. Okay, there are cuantos? Mm, two. Okay, entonces aquí en ese caso decís there are two. Yeah. There are two. No? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
Sí, ajá. Okay. Uh, there are two buses place. Very good. Ajá. Uh -huh. There is a school. There is a school. There is there a is school. Okay. Póngale la. There is a school. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, ahora en forma negativa. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, there is no cinema in my house. There is no cinema in my house. Okay. There is no gas station in my neighborhood. No sé cómo se dice. Este. In my, my, in my neighborhood. Neighborhood. Very good. Finished. Excellent. Thank you, Catherine. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Antonio. Catherine, Elizabeth Romero. Action. There is a park near my house. My, my, my house. My. There is no pharmacy near my house. Okay, there is no pharmacy. There are three stories in my community. Okay, there are or there aren't. There are. There are three stores in my community. Very good. Nice examples. Very good job. Okay, let's see. No le digo a Mr. Edwin que se comienza. Leticia Ortiz, vamos. Ya la terminé. Ah, okay, okay. Después de Leti. Okay. Uh, but there is a park near my house. Uh -huh. There is a bakery near my house. Very good. There aren't any pupusas play near my house. There aren't any pupusas place near my house, okay? Only musicón salvaje, right? There you, y, ese, y ese fiestón, Leti, ¿qué onda? Eh? No nos invita. Ajá, no nos invita, Leti, mira, solo ella tiene el fiestón ahí. Eh. Anda con un flow violento. <risa> no, no, estoy afuera del gimnasio, por eso se escucha música. Oh, ok. Y los del gimnasio otra a ver <risa> a ver enfoque. es mala que se te vi <risa> enfoque quiero ver <risa> ajá y hay todo enfoque <risa> ahorita pero... <risa> ay este que obediente <risa> es broma atlético <risa> hoy toda la gente <risa> <risa> ok, very good. No, ahí estamos. Ahí. <risa> ya venga, todo lo hice reír. Ah, todo se le quitó lo serio. <risa> ay, ay, ay. Uy, ¿quién es ese rosado? Ah. <risa> you see, Edwin, we never know. You never know. Good examples, Letty. Edwin, give me your examples. Uh, there are three stores in my neighborhood. Ajá. Uh -huh. There is a gym my, um, near my house. Okay, ahí está Leti. There are a lot of schools in my city. There are a lot of, a lot of. No a se coman of. el of, right? Porque es bien común. Ah, okay. There are a lot of schools. There are a lot of schools near ah, my city, right? So there you have, exactly, right? There are a lot of schools near my city. Very good job. So, in that case, we need to be very careful for you to remember, right? For you to remember how to use the sentences, how to use every single type of sentence that we have here, okay? I am going to send you the examples on the chat if you didn't copy. Por si no copiaron, se lo voy a enviar al chat. Let me see, here you have. I will stop uh, here the camera for you if you didn't copy or if you don't have them all of if you don't have all of them I am going to send them to you because we are going to use them as well so there you have the sentences in the chat and what are we going to do right now now the main idea here do you get the difference between there is and there are do you get the difference between there is and there are Exactly like that. 
just like that. There is is only for one and there are is for plurals. And you might be telling and you will say, teacher, but what about the plurals? What are the plurals? What are those? Where is it? Okay. And here we are going to go here. And I am going to explain that as well. The plurals. How do you make the plurals? And this is something that we need to understand because it is necessary, right, to do it. It is necessary to understand what are the plurals so you can actually use them, okay? Let me see. Hey, what happened? Here we go. So, in order to understand what are the plurals, we are going to do the following. And here I go. Let me share my screen, okay? This is un andade de loquito. Okay. Let's see. And here it is. Let's see. I want to share the screen and I can't. Here I go. Now I have it. I wanted to make a quick stop to explain a little bit about the plurals, right? What are the plurals? How do you make them? The plurals are actions that you do with the nouns, right? When you have more than one thing, this is not the third person. This is not the third person. This is <clears throat> the nouns, okay? Esto lo hacemos con los nombres, con los objetos. Entonces nos matamos aquí en nada, que avanzamos. Leticia, ¿dónde está que no avanza? Perdón, teacher, en clase se me activó, eh, perdón, en el trabajo se me activó el micrófono. No avanza la pobre. No, no. Pobrecitos ahí, ojalá que les abunte. Le voy a cerrar el micrófono para que si vea. Ya, ya, ya lo ventanía, eh, que no avanza. How do you make the plurals? Okay, how do you make the plurals? With the objects, right? For example, here you have car, cars, y le agregamos ese al final, right? Cars, desk, desks, y le agregamos ese. Esto pasa con los nombres, no es para los verbos. Cuando al verbo se le agrega ese, es porque es tercera persona, pero son acciones. Aquí tenemos que darnos cuenta que son cosas, objetos, nombres, ¿ok? Para hacer y decir de qué son más de una, ¿ok? Aquí no hay solo un carro, aquí hay muchos carros, cars. No hay solo un pupitre, hay muchos pupitres. Desks. No hay solo una mano, tenemos dos. Hands, okay, plural. In the case that you want to make a potato, puree, right? You need many potatoes. No me diga potatoes, por favor. It's potatoes. No me va a decir tomatoes tampoco. Tomatoes, okay? ¿Cuál es el cambio? Casi a todos se les agrega S. A los que terminan. En S, X, Z, CH, SH, le agregamos S. Por ejemplo, bus, the buses. Box, boxes. Dish, dishes. Right? If you have it, if you have it, for example, here, with O, right? Si tenemos O, pero antes tenemos consonante, S. O, Hay algunas opciones de excepción. Foros, pianos, logos, radio. Those are exceptions. Si tenemos que termine en F, se cambia por V. Thief, ladrón. Aquí no hay uno, hay muchos. Thieves. Okay. Love, loves. Half, halves. Hal, calf, calves. Okay. If we have a specific things, for example, tenemos casos específicos también. Reef, roof, chef. Okay? Termina en F y usted me va a decir, no, teacher, pero el plural de chef sería cheves. 
No, porque esos son casos especiales que no se cambian. Solo se les agrega la S. Other examples. Ife. Wives. Knife. Life. You add V-E-S. Ok, life, una vida. Los gatos tienen nueve. Lives. Ok. One wife. En El Salvador solo se permite una esposa. One wife. ¿Va a ser para allá, para Arabia? Seven. ¿En China permiten dos? <ríe> en China. Sí, en serio. Imagine. So, bueno. Knife, un cuchillo. Muchos knives. ¿Ok? When you have the why. Nappy, nappies, puppy, puppies. Fly, flies, penny, pennies. ¿Ok? Casos especiales. Fish, que es igual. Tuna, es igual. Sheep, deer. Otros casos especiales. Person, people. ¿Ok? No me dice persons. Ox, que son los toros. Ox, oxen. Child, children. No me dice children's. Children's no existe. Goose, geese. Man, <coughs> man, men. Foot, feet. Woman, women. ¿Ok? For the woman, que terminaría igual con M-A-N, woman, una sola mujer. Plural, women. ¿Ok? Igual con M-E-N. Women. ¿Ok? So, those are the plurals. And I wanted to make a quick overview of this. Right? I know this is a big topic. Right? Este es un tema bien como simple, pero tenemos que tener como ese cuidado de que lo usamos con los objetos. ¿A dónde? En los ejemplos que hicimos, por ejemplo, en la pizarra. As you can see here. ¿Qué ejemplos de plurales pueden ver aquí? Supermarket. Supermarkets. Church. Churches. Hotel. Hotels. Uh, grocery, store, grocery stores. Ok, grocery stores. Si se fijan en estos que son compound nouns, el segundo es el que se hace plural. Grocery stores. Pupusas places. Supermarkets. Ok. So there you have the example. And in this case, si son plurales, there are. Si son singulares, there is. En los singulares no le va a poner plural, obviamente. There is a hotels. No. There is a churches. No. Si es plural, there are. Si es singular, there is. Okay. So that was the, the introduction for this. And I have another example right here. I have another example of this one, right? Examples of plurals as well. The same, the same picture, right? Tomatoes, toys, cities. Here, this is a little bit more complete, right? Irregulars and no change, okay? Otras formas irregulares, person, people. Mouse, un Mickey Mouse, no hay problema. Pero muchos Mickey Mouse ya es plaga, mice. Okay, mouse is only one. Okay, hay un ratoncito. Pero si ya tiene un montón en la casa, ya viven ahí como ratatouille, mice. Tooth, only one. Tooth, un diente. Todos los dientes, teeth. Okay. Foot, solo un piecito. Los dos, feet. Child, solo un niño. Children, hay un montón. Cactus, Only one. El plural de cactus es cacti. Si tiene colección, le decimos, hey, look at my cacti. ¿Ok? Eso va a decir como, hey, qué raro, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Ox, oxen, clips, clips, tough, stuff, sniff. Scuff, it's the ones that you get if you go to jail, right? The scuffs. So, Those are examples of the plurals. Esta es la imagen que le voy a mandar para que la tengan ahí guardada. So, these are 
some of the definitions for the plurals. And we are going to use them, right? Les hice toda esta introducción porque la van a ocupar on what we are going to do right now. Just give me a second. I am going to send you this. And here we go. What are we going to do right now? We are going to work and you are going to work in groups of four to create a city. You are going to create your city. And on your city, you are going to have anything that you want. You have to put the different places in your city. What do you want to have? How are you going to make it? And let me show you what you are going to do. Déjenme mostrarles lo que van a hacer. Just, I will stop sharing. So, on your city, you are going to put all the different places that you want to have. For example, uh, here, we have like, there are, there is, and you are going to use the different places. You are going to set the places that you want to have. And you are going to create a little neighborhood. How are you going to make it? Let me show you. The neighborhood. Okay, it's going to be something like this. Here you go. Yeah, you are going to create a little neighborhood similar to this one. And you are going to put different places, the places that you want to have. Any place that you want to have. If you want to say, a hey, teacher, in my city, I want to have seven discotheques. I want to have a candy shop, teacher. I want to have a restaurant. I want to have a Japanese restaurant. I want to have a, a swimming pool. ¿Qué le pondrían a su ciudad? ¿Qué le pondrían a su ciudad perfecta? ¿Qué lugares le pondrían a su ciudad perfecta? No, two universities, teacher. Three schools. I want to have, I don't know, a, a bakery, teacher. I want to have a chocolate factory. Anything that you want to have in your city. So you are going to invent a city with your name, póngale nombre, le van a poner nombre a la ciudad y le van a poner qué lugares quieren tener en la ciudad. Your favorite places. Okay. Si ustedes solo quieren tener police stations, está bien. Pero si no hay discotheque, no va a servir de nada la police station. So, you can invent your city. Pueden inventar su ciudad como quieran. Okay, este es como un ejemplo que les doy de lo que pueden hacer. No es necesario que hagan como el dibujito ni nada. Pero pueden poner como una idea. Okay. So, let me show you here. And let me show you in a clean, in a clean page. So, you are going to say, teacher, I am going to make my city here we are going to have these three places, teacher. Lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno, no hay problema. Lo pueden hacer en sus cuadernos. O lo puede hacer solo una persona en un cuaderno. And you write the names of the places, right? You can have the names of the places. Okay, aquí le pone, vea. Le pone hotel. This is a hotel. This is a Japanese restaurant. A Japanese restaurant. Right? And then you can invent whatever thing that you want to have. Si usted quiere tener aquí la university, la puede poner. It's okay. University. And then you can have, right? Ahí les doy un ejemplo de cómo lo pueden hacer. And you can have the different places in the city. Here, remember that 
the cities have streets, right? Las, las ciudades tienen calles, vea. Aquí, ay, qué linda me sale esa calle. Perdón. Y la vamos a hacer más bonita. Esta, por ejemplo, una calle. Y tienen también las avenidas. para que las tomen en cuenta. Aquí esta casa la vamos a borrar porque nos queda en medio de la calle. Esta casa la vamos a, a demoler. There you go. Y esta también. Nos queda en medio de la calle. Las calles van así, las avenidas van hacia abajo. Okay. Casi siempre las calles tienen nombre. Puede ser Joanna Street, Edwin Street, Natty Street, right? Las avenidas son first, second, third. Primera avenida, segunda, tercera. Okay? Para las avenidas siempre es un número. Es first avenue, second avenue, and third avenue. Okay? So most of them have numbers. Las calles sí usted le puede poner el nombre que quiera. Banana Street, Coconut Street. Las calles son estas que están aquí, de este lado aquí. Vamos a ponerle aquí Coconut Street. Esa se llama la calle Coco. La abuelita Coco vive ahí. De Coconut Street. Es toda esa calle. ¿Ok? Las avenidas van hacia abajo. Las es calles van en horizontal. <clears throat> Just for you to keep it in mind. That's what you are going to do. You are going to invent a map. A little map. Que okay? no tiene que ser algo sumamente grande. You can invent a little map. You are going to work in... Let me see how many people do I have. I have 12 people. We are going to work in couples. Okay? Lo vamos a hacer en parejas para que sea más fácil entenderse. Okay? So, let me make the groups to do this. Okay. Si son dos nada más, pues es más fácil comprender. Sí. Ok, Alma Dalila viene todavía en camino y Leticia González está en el trabajo, así que la vamos a tomar en cuenta. Hello, Cristian. No había visto a Cristian. Cristian está en el trabajo o en su casa. No hay respuesta. Okay, so I am going to leave it there. Accept the invitation to go to the rooms right now. There you go. Okay, tengo a mis tres trabajadores aquí. Lo voy a dejar aquí en el, en el salón principal. No se preocupen. Voy a ir a trabajar con los chicos a los grupos. Let me see. Ok, teacher. Ya. Yeah. Alma, ¿tú estás? Ah, tú estás en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Alma, Lila. Ok, Leti, ¿estás en tu casa o en el trabajo todavía? Leticia. Hello, teacher. ¿Está en el trabajo o está en la casa? Aún en el trabajo, a mi casa llego como a las 8.45. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Entonces, para que, bueno, la voy a poner en un grupo para que pueda escuchar y pueda o escuchar más o menos lo que está pasando. Bueno. No se preocupe. Bueno, gracias, teacher. Ok. Igual a Alma la voy a poner en un grupo para que pueda escuchar. Si quieres, dale a aceptar, Alma. 
para que puedas escuchar lo que está haciendo el grupo. Ok, teacher, ok. Igual a Cristian, lo voy a mover a un grupo para que pueda escuchar lo que está pasando. There you go. Dicho, yo sigo aquí. Ahorita, ahorita ya. Ahorita. Acéptenme la invitación, please. Ahí estamos. Perfecto. Así lo tiene también. Sí, así lo tengo. Ah, pues sí, con tres calles creo que está bien. Bye. Hello, Ed, Edwin and Catherine. You are the only two in the group. Christian and Letty are only listening, okay? Because they are working. Christian and Letty solo son oyentes. Así que ustedes trabajen ustedes dos, okay? Catherine y Edwin. Porque Letty okay. está en el trabajo y Christian también. Okay? Please. Okay. Just continue working. Uh, una pregunta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dime. Eh, ¿Solo vamos a poner el nombre o vamos a poner algo más? No, no, no. Only the name. Ah, si usted quiere hacer el dibujito, Picasso. Y nada, nada. <risa> Only the name. The name of the place. Ok. Eh, o solo una observación. Así como lo que hicieron, esas son las calles y las avenidas. Sí. Ah, vale. Entonces ahí a cada cuadrito le pueden poner unas cinco cosas. ¿verdad? No le van a poner una gran cosa porque va a ser una, una universidad de una cuadra. Sí. Ajá. Entonces ahí vea, wow, pueden ir okay. ocupando. Ok. Yes, okay. only that, okay? Only the name, just like church, hotel, y todo. Así se ponen a hacer los dibujitos, no dan las once aquí. <laughs> only the name. Aunque si a usted le salen rápido, go ahead. Okay. Clinic. School. Hello, Janet. Hello. A ver, Llegando. a ver el dibujo Picasso que se están haciendo. Quiero ver. <risa> Look at ah, pero tiene el fondo. No lo miro. Quiero ver. No menos. Ah, oh, yeah, that's good. Vaya, Net, vaya lo haciendo usted también ahí en su cuaderno. Okay. El mapita que va haciendo José. Ok. Hello, Leti. A la Leti ahí en el gimnasio. Voy a conseguir un cuaderno. <risa> no, teacher, si lo traigo. Ah, ok. That's so perfect. Ok. So work on the map. Ok. Trabajen en el mapita ahí. Porque... Y hey, los tres de negro, miren, me hubieran avisado para traer un uniforme. <risa> Continue working, ok? Continue. Trabajen, trabajen, trabajen. Okay. Vaya. Eh... Hello. ¿Es cool? Es cool. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero ¿cuántas? Yo creo que como una baja, digo yo. <risa> Sala o <risa> <laughs> Pongan pong una de inglés, hombre. Ah, An English <laughs> Academy. Good, English Academy. Good. An English Academy, ajá. Uh -huh. Very good. Así cumplimos <laughs> nuestro sueño. <laughs> good, very good. English Academy. Excellent. Continue eh, working. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Um, ¿En, ¿En qué calle? calle? Espera, um, quiero ver en la calle. Ya no más comida. En la calle, en la calle. En nuestra, nuestras calles llevan nombre de comida. Yo creo que aquí hay hambre, niña. Aquí hay hambre. Nombres exóticos hay también. 
<risa> Charamuja Street. <risa> Sí. Una lleva de chicken. Ah, chicken street. street okay. chick, chicken ah. street. Chicken street, ok. Chicken street. Ya ven, va, el, el hambre va. La verdad. Sí, ya vi. Acá ah, como acá a las nueve en punto. Ahí va a comer. Hello, Alma. Ya estoy en casa. Hey, <risa> vale, entonces les ayudo aquí a mis amigos. Ok. Ok. Mami. Good. Mami. Hola. Ah, hola, mami, ya vino mami. <risa> ya, yeah, entiendo ese, ese sentimiento. Todo, todo le quieren contar en menos de cinco minutos. <risa> Así es, dicho. Continue working, go ahead. Ok, dicho. Gracias. Una escuela. Y cerca de la escuela una librería. A bookstore. Bookstore. Ajá, uh porque -huh. library, bueno, si quieren poner una biblioteca, pongan una library. That's good. Sí, pero... <laughs> And what is the name of your city? ¿Cómo se llama su ciudad? Ah, no le hemos puesto nombre. No le hemos puesto nombre. Ah, okay. The Invisible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, I will remember that one to the other groups, okay? I will go to the other groups. Vaya, Tatiana, la pongo al día entonces. Podemos ponerle un mes. Ajá, ajá, acaba. Vaya, la pongo al día porque. Podemos ponerle un mes o algo. No sé si anda copiando las clases o qué, porque anda de grupo en grupo. No, solo aquí he estado con ustedes. Ve, pues ya se me fue otra vez. Es que le falla mucho el Inter. Le falla un montón el Internet. Sí, pues, ya la, la perdimos otra vez. Ahí está. <risa> Hola, bueno, Tati, bien. de nuevo. Ahí está, otra vez, ya volvió. Claro. Hola, aquí estoy. Me okay. está fallando el internet. Ok, aprovechenla, aprovechenla. Vaya, Tati, la pongo al día. Dice, eh, tenemos dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho cuadritos. Eh... A cada uno de ellos hemos asignado. Eh. Short. Short. Ahí viene Tati otra vez. <risa> don't no. forget, don't forget to put the name to your city, right? Pónganle nombre a su ciudad, no se les olvide. Okay, put a name on your city. I don't know, Charamusca, Jocote City, whatever. El Tunco Ok, thank you for the serenade. Gracias a la serenata que nos están poniendo por ahí. Este, Tatiana, no sé cuál, hasta dónde me escuchó. Le escuché nada más lo primero que me, me empezó, este, que había ocho cuadritos. Solo eso le escuché. Vaya, entonces es... Eh...
Bakery. Perdón. No. Es uh, la panadería. Uh -huh. Ah, panadería. Bakery. Una... Y el bank, ah, el bank, ajá, díganos una calle, Money Street, <ríe> okay, okay, <ríe> okay, Money Street, Food and Money, money. Street. Food and Money, okay. That's good, that's good. Por ahí tienen calles con nombres de comida, calles con poner... nombres de... Ajá. <laughs> Podemos poner playa también, una playa. Ah, you can have a beach <laughs> there for sure. Yeah, it's your city. Sí. What is the name of your city? ¿Cómo se llama su ciudad? <laughs> Potato City. Potato City, okay. Nice, I like it. Right? Potato City. Hay sembrado de papá. <laughs> a potato plantation. Sí. Okay. Ah, it's good. It's your city. It's whatever you want to do there. Son libres de poner lo que quiera. On your city. Uh, okay. I will come back. Ya vuelvo. Okay, students, students are about to come back. Let's go and check. Hello, Paola. <laughs> Me la llevo a un grupo. Did you finish? Todavía no falta. Ok, ok, hurry up. Hurry up. We are about to finish. Nos quedan minutitos nada más. Vamos. Bye. Sí, Solo lo voy a pasar en limpio y se los comparto. No sé si, si les parece. Sí, está bien. Sí. Vaya, este. Teacher. Yes. How do you say. Eh, Calle 15 de agosto. Es first, eh, Street First, first in August. No, no, 15 of August Street. Uh, 15 okay. of August Street. 15 of okay. August Street. August. Street. <laughs> <laughs> Sí, okay. uh, entonces sería eh, second, para, April 2nd. Para April 2nd. ¿Cómo? April 2nd. April 2nd. April 2nd. Esa sería la avenida. Ya. Yeah. Avenida. Ah, no, no, no. En las avenidas solo pones first, second, or third. Second avenue, first avenue. Just like that. Okay. Okay. Let me see something. Oh my God. Hay una gallina. Come on. <laughs> okay. Me dijo en las avenidas. Solo First Avenue, Second Avenue, 
solo así. Ok, yo creo que es en, a, a, aquí a los tres le falla la conexión. First Avenue, Second Avenue, Third Avenue. First Avenue, Second. Ok, First Avenue, Second Avenue, Third Avenue. Todo lo hace. Sí, estamos bien. Ok. Se nos perdió la Janet. Janet, ¿dónde está? Voy a sacar a la gallina, la Janet. Gracias, el café. Todavía no falta para ir, no, hombre, tranqui. Ok, let, give me just a second, I will come back. Leti Ortiz, ¿con quién estabas trabajando? Teacher, le mandé un mensaje a WhatsApp. Ah, oh, sorry. Ok, ok, ok. Eh... Y ahorita me acabo de conectar y, y estoy con, con Leticia González, pero ella... No, no, ajá, no ahorita Leti está trabajando. No, ¿con qué grupo estabas? Estaba con José y con... Con... Janet. José y Janet. Ok, ahí voy. De nuevo. This is room number three. There you go. Sí, Leti está trabajando. There you go. Aceptame ahí, Leti. De hecho, yo estaba escuchando al grupo número dos. Y no sé cómo se me salió y aparece aquí. ¿Estabas con quiénes? ¿Con... ¿Con quién estabas? Estaba de oyente con Edwin. Y Catherine. Y con Catherine. Ok, ahorita. Ya. Te llegó la invitación. Leti, te mandé la invitación de nuevo, te digo. Okay, my dear students, we are about to finish. So please finish whatever you are doing. I am coming uh, to your group to check if you have finished. And we're going to close the rooms in two minutes.
Okay, students have one minute to come back with their maps to see how they did their activity. Here, I have Christian here, I have Catherine, nice. Welcome back. Hello, Edwin, welcome. Hola. Hello. Por aquí. Did you finish? Yeah. Good, very good. You are going to present in a moment, right? Ya van a presentar. Solo. Uh -huh. Las avenidas faltan. Pero no, but como... those are first, second, third. Esas no cambian. Esas van first, second, third. Esas no tienen no ningún que... cambio. No importa que estemos solo esas tres. No, si solo. ¿Cuántas tienen? Ay, es que hay un montón. ¿Cuántas? No sé qué. Séptima, no sé qué. Calle Poniente. Y así. No, no, no. Pero en su mapa, en su, en su dibujo, ¿cuántas avenidas puso? Bueno, Only two, right? First and second. Oh, look at Joanna. What a beautiful map, the one that they have. Excellent. Bueno. Hey, look at Antonio. Hey, the filter. Por el filtro no lo podemos ver. Ajá, Catherine, show me your map. Catherine, que tiene buena luz. Muéstranos su mapa. Oh, look at that. Wow. Nice, José Antonio, Antonio José. Look, wow, Catherine, look at the map. Very complete, niña, very complete. Mr. José, show your map. José también ha hecho uno bien chivo. Show your map. Le estoy pasando de limpio. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Era el machote. Good, so Thank get ready. Sure. Yes. There are many engineers. Yeah, I can see. I can see, huh? The architect on you. Definitely. The architect, the architect inside of you. Okay, so here many engineers. Definitely, yes. We have many, many, many engineers here. Okay, so Let's work. Let's move on business here. Okay. How are you going to explain your city? Okay, I need one or one of you. Okay, one of you to explain your city. And you are going to go and say, okay, uh, our city is uh, Lemon City, right? Lemon City, Banana City, Coconut Money, whatever name. No sé cómo se llama su ciudad. Our city is Lemon City. In Lemon City, there are hotels, there is a church, there is this, there is that, right? You're going to explain what places do you have in the city. Okay? There is, there are. Si tienen más de un lugar, van a decir cuántos pusieron. There are three hospitals, there are two universities, there are three schools. If you have more than one, if you have singular places, there is a church, there is a supermarket, there is a hospital, okay? So look at your map, check your map and analyze it for you to explain it. Analyze your map to explain it. There is, there are. There is a hospital in Lemon City, for example. There is a church in Lemon City. And you tell me what things do you have there? Okay. Study, prepare your presentation. Prepare lo que me va a decir. And then we're going to present once you have it. Catherine, ya estamos listos. No, no, no. You say, no, 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 teacher, no, no, no. How do you present your city? ¿Cómo la presentan? ¿Cómo van a presentar su ciudad? So check it there. Check your city. Check how you are going to do it. How you are going to present this.
Okay, study, study. How are you going to present the city? And once you have it ready, let me know. Ready? Yeah. Edwin, ¿ya está listo? Sí. Ok. Algo así es. Démosle. Ya Y la muestro. No, no, you can show it. It's ok. La puedes ir mostrando y la puedes ir explicando o la puedes ir explicando nada más. Ah, It's ok. No, no, no. 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 There is a park. There is a park. There is a park. There is a garden. Please. There is a place. There is a church. In Field Avenue. And police station. There is a. Okay. Jail and a gym. A jail and a gym, right? Very important. Right. A jail and a gym. Nice. Very good job for Blue City. Very nice. Nice, Catherine. Nice, Edwin. Very good job. Many places, right? Many places in your city. Very good job. Nice job, the one you did. Mr. Antonio or Joanna, who's presenting? Who is going to present? Look at Catherine showing the city there. ¿Quién presenta de los dos? Yo voy a presentar. Ok. Um, I am Lear City, Potato. No, Potato City. Ah, Potato City. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, en Cinema. Okay, there is a cinema. There is a cinema. Uh, there is a, uh, it's a restaurant. There is a restaurant. Uh, in Spring Almost. And there is a gym. In Spring Chicken. In Chicken Street. There is a gym in, in Chicken, chicken in, On Chicken Street. Uh huh. Uh, there is a. Toy Factory and Ten Point Street. And there is a, a school a school and there is a school. English uh -huh. Academy. Okay, there is a school and an English Academy, yeah. Uh-huh. And, and Fring Street. And there is a hair shop and in North Avenue. North Avenue, uh huh. Um, there is a bank in Monday Street. Um, there is a hospital in Burian, Burian Street. Okay. Uh, there is a bakery and pet shop. Um, First Avenue. Okay. Um, and there is a flower shop in Virgin Street. Okay. 
Virgin Street. Virgin Street. There is a liquor store no. in Bold Street. Okay. There is a, there is a barber shop in Bold Street. And there is a bar in Happy Street. Okay. And there is a museum in Maha Museum in Birch Street. And there is a supermaker in Orange Street. Supermarket. E supermarket in Orange Street. And a stadium in, in Curious Stadium in Happy Street. There is a stadium, right? There is a stadium. Very good it's job, like right? Many different places, right? You have many, many places in your city. Nice job. You did a very good job. Very good job. Reactions for your friends. Very nice. Mr. Jose, what about your city? Um... The number is a student in the black city. Okay, a student in the black city. Okay. A student in the black city. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can see. Yeah, for sure. Um, the, there is a clinic. Okay, there um, is a clinic. There is a school. There is, is a church. Church. There is a church. church. A church. Church. There is, is a gas station. Gas station. There is a gas station. There is a true hell. Okay. Yes. Which one? The Ah, main hall. Main hall. Main hall. Uh -huh. There is a main hall. Good. Um, there is a bank. There is a bank, uh huh. E, there is, is a police office. There is a police office, right? There is a police office. Good job, right? Good job on the city. Nice and to the point. Very good, Jose. Very good job. So, those are our three maps, the three different cities, right? I can see that you like everything. You have schools and universities. Very nice, right? Por ahí hasta una playa tenía. That's so nice, right? That you have that uh, useful place, places in the city. Why was I asking you to write streets and avenues? ¿Por qué les pregunté y les dije, póngale avenidas, póngale calles? Because that is the second part of this explanation. As you can see here, well, here I only have streets, right? Main streets and main streets, okay? I have a city, right? I have made a city right here. Por aquí les hice una ciudad chiquita. El libro la hizo. So there you have. Tell me, what places can you see on the map? You can tell me, teacher, there is a swimming pool. Teacher, there is a park. Teacher, there is... What places can you see in the picture? There is a swimming pool. There is Italian restaurant. There is, okay, Italian restaurant. Italian comienza con vocal. Tendríamos que decir a Italian restaurant o an Italian restaurant. Um, an, no. porque comienza con vocal y no podemos tener dos vocales juntas. Uh -huh. Another one. ¿Qué más ven aquí? There is a movie theater. Movie theater. Movie theater. Uh -huh. Janet, what places can you see in the map? ¿Qué más vemos en el mapa? A ver. Uh, 
Edwin, Catherine, Alemita, Tatiana, ¿qué vemos en el mapa? Okay. There are a bank, a bank. Ajá, ¿cuántos bancos hay? There are a bank. Ajá, ¿no are podemos decir bank. dónde está ah. el otro? ¿Cuántos bancos tenemos? Ah, there are two. There are two. Ok, porque si decimos there are a bank, es hay un banco. Hay unos bancos, right? There is a bank. There is a bank. What else? Ah, Janet creo que lo quiere hacer más grande. Ajá, Tati. There is a swimming pool. There is a swimming pool, right? There is a swimming pool. Very good job. What else? Post office. There is a post office, right? Good. So, something that I wanted to tell you, something that I wanted to show you. Okay. According to this and after this, we also use other words. For example, the ones that I am going to write right here. Let me just change it, change the color. You have here. Okay. Later you're going to see. Ya la van a ver porque ahorita no la ven porque están como en amarillito. Okay. And let me write it here. And let me see. Ah. And ahorita se las comparto. Solo las termino de escribir. And the last one. Okay. The words that I just wrote there. Those are prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. In. In that case, in, as I was explaining you the other day, in la ocupamos si usted está dentro del lugar. Imagínese que usted me dice, teacher, I am in the drugstore. Porque ahí está dentro. Ahí anda en la farmacia. I am in the hospital, teacher. Ahí anda dentro del hospital. I am in the bank. Estoy dentro del banco. I am in. ¿Ok? On lo ocupamos para referirnos que está sobre alguna calle. ¿Ok? The drugstore is on Main Street. The bank is on Maple Street. The parking is on Main Street. The music store is on David Street. On lo ocupamos para que algo está en un lugar. ¿Ok? On. For example, the Italian restaurant is on David Street. No vamos a decir está in David Street porque no está dentro de la calle. Está on, está sobre la calle. On. In front of. ¿Qué significa in front of? In front of. En frente de. En frente, right? For example, the travel agent, the travel agent que está por aquí, The travel agent is in front of the grocery store. ¿Ok? Pero también está across from. ¿Por qué? Porque hay una calle que lo separa. Si se tiene que pasar la calle, es across from. Pa, les doy un ejemplo. Aquí, el parking lot. El parking lot está next to, ¿ok? Next to the movie theater. Pero si usted está en el parqueo, puede estar in front of the movie theater. Aquí sí lo tengo enfrente, vea. In front of. ¿Ok? In front of. That's the difference. La diferencia entre in front of y across from es que in front of está enfrente. Usted puede decir, ah, está enfrente. O si se tiene que cruzar la calle, across from. Between. ¿Qué significa between? En medio de. For example, the music store is between the newsstand and the bank. The music store is between the newsstand and the bank. 
Está en medio. It's between, right? The Chinese restaurant is between the bank and the bookstore. Okay? That is it. On the corner. ¿Qué significa on the corner? En la esquina, right? On the corner. On the corner. ¿Qué hay on the corner? Díganme un edificio que esté on the corner. Que esté en una esquina. Bank. The bank. bank. Ok. The Drug bank store. is on the corner. The drugstore is on the corner. Cuando ocupamos on the corner, normalmente ocupamos los dos nombres de las calles. Ok. The drugstore is on the corner of. On the corner of Maple and Main. On the corner of. Ok. On the corner of Maple and Main. Uh, the parking lot on the corner of Main and Davis. The bank on the corner of Davis and Main. Okay, that's the way that's the way we use it on the sentences, right? On the corner, across from, between. In es cuando estamos dentro del lugar. On dónde está ubicado el lugar? Sobre qué calle? Right? On. In front of, enfrente de. Behind. The parking lot, the parking lot is behind the movie theater. And the grocery store is behind the movie theater. Está atrás del cine. Ahí hay una tienda atrás del cine, right? The swimming pool. ¿Dónde está la swimming pool? Behind. Behind. The grocery store. Está detrás de la tienda. The swimming pool is behind the grocery store. Behind. Next to. A la par. Next to. The parking lot is next to the movie theater. The Chinese restaurant is next to the bookstore. The drugstore is next to the public restroom. Right? A la par. On the corner of. En la esquina. Across from. Al cruzarse. Across from y between en medio. So there you have the different forms of prepositions of place that we have. Okay, those are prepositions of place. In, on, in front of, behind, next to, on the corner, across from, in between. Copy them. Copy and last prepositions of place. Ok, me avisan cuando las hayan copiado. Uh. Teacher, todas ¿Ya? las vamos a copiar. No, 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 van a copiar las preposiciones, solo estas. In, o solo estas de aquí, porque las vamos a ocupar. In, on, in front of, behind, next to, on the corner, across from, y between. El mapa no porque ahorita se lo voy a enviar. Ok, gracias. Teacher. Ok, ahorita les mando el mapa. Ya ven cómo les cuido los deditos. <ríe> Teacher, eh, ¿me puedes repetir cómo se dice in front of? In front of. Ah, enfrente de. In front of. Enfrente de. In front y of. La, la otra que dice behind. Ah, behind. Sí. Behind. Es atrás. Detrás. Atrás o detrás. detrás. Ajá, ajá, detrás. Atrás. Como cuando ven en las películas que dice behind the scenes. El detrás de cámara. Ah, 
hay un niño ahorcando a una mamá. <ríe> Jaloneándola. ¿Quién podría ser? Ajá, lo ignoro. <ríe> sospecho, sospecho. Tuvo que... Puede ser Alejandro, ¿verdad? Ajá, algo así. Pobre Almita ahí hasta sin pelo. ¿eh? Es que él es un dinosaurio. Tío. Ok, ah, so a dinosaur. We have a dinosaur in the class. Oh my God. You have the picture on the cell phone, ok? I am going to stop sharing so we can create sentences. Ok, so in the class today we have Katherine, Antonio, Alma Dalila. Tatiana, Leticia Ortiz, Cristian Ramos, Janet Sarabia, Edwin Steven, José Reyes, Joana y Leticia González. Esos son mis alumnos presentes este día. Ey, no han visto a luz. No he visto la luz conectada. Sí, es verdad que no ha pasado lista. No, ahorita a ah, eso voy. So, on the map. On the map. I wanted to do something first on the map. Let me see. Vamos a abrir aquí la lista porque ahí anda de rebelde mi computadora. Let's see. So, on the map. I need you to set yourself on the map. And what are we going to do? We are going to create sentences with prepositions of place. Ahora ya no con... Eh, con lo que estábamos haciendo hace poco, con there is and there are, but we're going to use the prepositions of place. How are you going to do it? Let me see. On this one, we are going to create sentences exactly like this. Let me share my whiteboard with you. How do you make a sentence with the preposition of place? And we are going to complete it right here. Okay. So, attendance. Alma Dalila. I am present teacher. Okay, Alma Xiomara is not here. Alba Leticia. Present teacher. Antonio Jose. Here teacher. Cristian Mauricio. Present teacher. Eh, Edwin Steven. Present. Eric Eduardo is not here. Evelyn Janet. Present teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Heidi Yamilet is not here. Uh, Tatiana. Present teacher. Heriberto. Jose Heriberto Reyes. Here, teacher. Jose Oscar is not here. Jose David, no. Catherine Alejandra, no. Catherine Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Catherine Lisbeth. Leticia Magdalena. Present, teacher. Ilse Marlene. Ilse. Yo sabía que alguien faltaba. Ah, que sí. Luz de Jesús. He's not here. And Joana Mariela. Present. Thank you. Melvin, Josué, Rosa, Margarita y Rosa María no me dieron el chance que los conociera. Nunca se conecta. Okay, good. Very good. So, with the sentences. Let's go back with the sentences. And I need you to go to the picture. Necesito que se ubiquen en la foto para que entiendan las oraciones. We are going to create a sentence with on. Vamos a hacer una oración con on. How are you going to make it? Here, we are going to say, the, the grocery store, sorry, here we have, the grocery store, hey, no me está escribiendo este bolo. The grocery store is on Main Street. <coughs> Uy, come on. No hemos terminado el módulo. No, nadie puede enfermarse. 
<laughs> the grocery store is on Main Street. Another form to do this. You can say, there is a grocery store on Main Street, right? That is another form to say, there is a grocery store on Main Street. There you have another form to say it. In front of, in front of, you can say, here we have, let me, there you go. In front of, you can say, eh, the movie theater, the movie theater, hablamos del movie theater, the movie theater is in front of the grocery store. Okay, y ya nos ubicamos ahí. The movie theater is in front of the grocery store. Hagamos una con behind. The grocery store. The grocery store is behind. Okay, it's behind the movie theater. The, mu the grocery store is behind the movie theater. On the corner. ¿Cómo hacemos una on the corner? Y ahí ocupamos las dos calles. So you say, the bookstore is on the corner of. Eso sí, no se les olvide. On the corner of Main Street and Maple Street. Ahí no tenían avenida, solo calles. The bookstore is on the corner of Main Street and Maple Street. Si se fijan, cuando ocupamos on the corner of, ocupamos las dos calles. La avenida y la calle, right? no importa, pero ocupamos las dos, la intersección. The next one, between. Cuando ocupamos between, vamos a poner los dos lugares. And we can say, eh, let's choose one that it's between. Ah, the music store. ¿Dónde está la music store? <clears throat> the music store is between what? The newsstand and... ¿Qué está al otro lado? The bank. Y ahí tienen los ejemplos de las oraciones. The music store is between the newsstand and the bank. Porque está en medio de esto y esto. Okay? The bookstore is on the corner of Main and Maple. The grocery is behind the movie theater. There is a grocery store on Main Street. So those are the sentences. Can you give me another example? Me pueden dar otro ejemplo. Usando ya las preposiciones del lugar. Con el Italian restaurant. ¿Qué ejemplo me darían con el Italian restaurant? ¿Qué ejemplo me darían con Italian restaurant? Eh, Italian restaurant. The Italian restaurant. Miren cómo empezamos the, todas las, las oraciones. Ajá. The Italian restaurant is from on ah. grocery store. In front of the grocery store. Ok, it's oh. in front of the grocery store. Uh -huh. ¿Qué otro ejemplo me pueden dar con the Italian restaurant? Ya usamos in front of. ¿Con qué otra preposición lo podríamos ocupar? Okay. 
Um, no sé si estaría bien, teacher. Ajá. Eh, pensar en Italia sería verdad. ¿En Italia Italian restaurant? ¿De Italian restaurant? The Italian restaurant is on the corner. It's on the corner, ajá. En corner of the street. Es, no, es de, en Main Street. Main Street en Davis. Davis. Davis Street. It's on the corner of Main Street en Davis Street. Very good. Por ejemplo, aquí. Very good job, Antonio. It's good. The swimming pool is next to the drugstore. Está a la par. A la par. A la par. A la par. Ese puede ser otro ejemplo. Imagínense que yo les quiera poner algo más extremo y les diga, denme la dirección sumamente exacta del lugar. Imagínense que les pregunto del Chinese Restaurant. ¿Cuál es la dirección súper exacta del Chinese Restaurant? Si yo de veras le doy así como el, el extremo de la explicación, vea. The Chinese Restaurant is between the bank and the bookstore on Maple Street across from the grocery store. And there you use many prepositions. Ahí usan un montón de preposiciones, pero no se pierden. The Chinese restaurant is between the bank and the bookstore on Maple Street across from the grocery store. And you say, what, teacher? The swimming pool. The swimming pool is on Maple Street behind the grocery store and next to the drugstore. Todas las preposiciones posibles del lugar. Y por eso les envié el mapa. ¿Por qué? Porque quiero que para mañana escojan tres lugares del mapa y les ponga todas las definiciones posibles. ¿Qué definiciones le puede poner al movie theater? Que está enfrente de la grocery store, que está a la par del parking lot, que está across from the newsstand que está on David Street. So you can have all the definitions for a specific place. Okay? So there you have. And that is going to be the homework that you are going to have. Let's practice with a couple of them right now. I am going to send you the examples of the sentences. And here we go. Okay, there you have the examples of the sentences. And you have to choose three for the homework. Escojan uno ahorita. Tres de cada uno. Sí, tres para la tarea. Pero ahorita escojan un lugar. Escojan uno para ganarse el pase a irse a dormir. Ahí está. Escojan uno y el que lo explique se puede ir a dormir ya. Y si no me lo dice, aquí vamos a amanecer. El que me diga la definición de un lugar se puede ir a dormir ya. Antonio queriendo le abrir el micrófono. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Antonio se duerme a las 9.01. Por eso. Hasta mal, güey. Ajá. Hasta mal. Eh, sería... Pero me quedé, me quedé. Ah. Eh, the bank is on Maple Street. The bank is on Maple Street. Very good, Antonio. Va a comer. Vamos. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Adiós. Te puedes ir. Bye bye. A ver, los demás, gánense el pase para irse a dormir. Lo voy a esperar. Ay, tan lindo. Ajá. Vamos. Tengo hambre, va a ser salud. ¿eh? Uh -huh.
En grocery store. The grocery store, ajá. Uh, in back. The grocery store is behind. Behind. In back es en espalda. Oh. <laughs> behind. <laughs> The grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> Es tanto el anhelo de irme a dormir. Ah, yeah, I can see. The grocery store is behind what? Behind what? Behind Juan. Así, Juan. Así como se escucha. Behind, behind. Behind. Behind, ajá. Uh -huh. The grocery uh -huh. store is behind the... No, ¿Detrás sí, de qué? Detrás de... Ok, ¿detrás de qué está? Aquí está el, el lugar, ¿ve? The grocery store is behind a um, movie theater. The grocery store is behind the movie theater. Alma, va a acostarse. Have a good night. José, vamos. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. José. The tra travel agent. The travel, travel agent. The travel agent. Uh -huh. The travel agent uh, is on Davis Street. It's on Davis Street. Very good job, Jose. You can go to sleep. Se puede ir a acostar ya. Joanna. Thank you. Uh, the music store uh -huh. is, between, is between the newsstand and the bank very good job go to sleep bye bye ajá quien sigue quien sigue tatiana vamos the swimming pool mm -hmm. is on the maple street in front of park in the front park. in front of the park Next to the drugstore. Wow, very good definition. The swimming pool is on Maple Street in front of the park next to the drugstore. Have a good night, Tati. Bye bye. Vamos, another one. Diga, ¿quién sigue? ¿Quién sigue? Se puede ir a dormir, Tati. Ya se ganó su pase. José también. Catherine Romero, vamos. De... The park. The park, uh-huh. In front of the park. The park is in front of? Is, is green, no sé. Swimming. Is green for... Swimming, swimming pool. Swimming. Swimming. The park uh, is in front of the swimming pool. Very good job. Bye-bye. Bye, Katherine. Bye. Hey, Mr. Edwin. The parking lot. Okay, the parking lot is in front of the bookstore. Good, Edwin. Bye bye. Leticia Gonzalez. Dígame una. Para irse a dormir. Ya lo ya quedé. Casi, casi. Buenas noches. Have a good night. Bye bye. Ajá, Janet. Falta que me diga uno. Ay, Leticia. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Leticia Ortiz, give me one. No, ahorita, espera. <laughs> The grocery store is on is in Bitcoin. Okay, the, gros, the grocery store. The grocery store is on Bitcoin a bank. Okay, the gro, no, espéreme, ¿dónde estaba? The grocery store. The grocery store is between. No, we don't have a bank here. No, no es que decir así enfrente, no es Bitcoin. Ah, no, 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 across from, across from or in front of. The bank, okay, the grocery store is in front of the bank, in front of. In front of. 
In the front of the Okay. Bye-bye, <laughs> Leti. Bye-bye. Yeah, Janet, good night. Vámonos. Have a good night. Janet. Usted me queda. Yo, teacher. Ah, okay, Leti, vamos. The, the parking lot is uh -huh. in front of um, the bookstore. Okay, very good job. The parking lot is in front of the bookstore. Very good job. Bye-bye, Leti. Se puede ir a dormir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Janet, contigo termino. Full Red Bull. Ajá. Street Grocery Store. Ajá. The Grocery Store. De verdad lo maté. The Grocery Store. The Grocery Store. Is on. Is on. Maple. Street. Maple Street. Ok, the grocery store is on Maple Street. La tienda está en la calle Maple. The grocery store is on Maple Street. Ok. Good, Janet. You can go to sleep. And that's it. Have a good night because the other ones are working. See you tomorrow, my dear students. Bye bye. Nos vemos mañana. Bye bye.